we're good. We're live. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on, let us exalt his name on this morning. Let us draw our minds in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. Welcome to Lighthouse Hallelujah. Apostolic Faith Church. Yeah. Amen. It's afternoon now. We're going to give God praise on today. We're going to ask yes. you to take two seconds to share this video with your friends and loved ones. Take two seconds and share this little video as we lift up the name of God, as we exalt his name on today for being the King of kings and yes, the Lord of lords. Yes, There's nobody yes. like him. Yes. Hallelujah. He sits high and he looks low. Yes, he governs Lord. his children and his church as he sees. So we thank God on this morning. You, and we open up today with a song of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise him. Praise praise and honor and lift up your name on today. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you touch the mind and hearts and soul of your people on today, oh God. Go into the highways and to the byways, oh God. Encourage your people, oh God. Save, deliver, set free, oh God. 
Lord, we pray, oh God, that you speak a word on today, oh God, that we encourage the hearts on today, oh God. Lord, you know the struggles and circumstances of everyone, oh God. And Lord, we pray, oh God, that you that you touch, oh God, meet them in the midst, oh God. There's somebody, oh God, that is walking away from the faith, oh God. There's somebody, oh God, that feel like there's no more hope, oh God. Lord, we pray, oh God, that you rejuvenate, oh God, send a word that and encourage them on today, oh God, to lift their spirits and let them know that everything is going to be all right, oh God. For earth has has no sorrow that heaven cannot heal, oh God. And Lord, we pray, oh God, for those that are sick and inflicted, oh God. We pray, oh God, that you meet them, oh God. Meet them, oh God. Make them whole, oh God. Raise them up out of the sick bed, oh God, like you did Peter's mother-in-law, oh God. Lord, we pray, oh God, that they'll have a testimony, oh God, to say that I've been touched by the name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for a quick recovery, oh God. We pray for a good report, oh God. Those that are going up for surgery, oh God, we pray that you meet them, oh God. Lord, we pray that you guide the hands of the doctors, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, we know, Lord, that you are able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, oh God. Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus, Lord, that the waters will be troubled on today, oh God. That somebody that had their sins washed away in the blood of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, we pray, oh God, that somebody repent, oh God, and be filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, oh God. For your word encourage us, oh God, that we are witnesses unto you, O oh God, by your Holy Spirit, your word divine, O oh God, that sanctified, reproves, instruct, and correct, O oh God. Lord, we need you to come by here on today, O oh God. Lord, we need you to come into the Chatham neighborhoods, O oh God. We need you, Lord, to come into the lives of marriages, O oh God. Lord, for what you ordain can no man put asunder, O oh God. Lord, you are able, O oh God. There's nothing too hard for the God that we serve, O oh God. And all the false doctrine that's coming against your word, O oh God. It's your word that gives us a sure foundation, O oh God. It's your word Oh God, that it saves us and anoint us, oh God. It's your word, oh God, that reproves us, oh God. And Lord, we need you to help somebody on today, oh God. Send a word into the households, oh God. Send a word into the neighborhoods, oh God. Send a word into this nation, oh God. Despite what our government say, oh God. Despite what goes on in the White House, oh God. You have the lay so, oh God. You have the last say so, oh God. Lord, the heart of the king is in your hand, oh God. You are able to satisfy us in these certain times of uncertainty, oh God. We put our trust and you are not in man, oh God. We lean on you, oh God, and not man, oh God. We believe on your word, oh God. You said you will never leave us nor forsake us, oh God. We trust you and we believe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Scripture will come out of Isaiah 55. Oh, yeah. I believe it's the sixth verse. Isaiah 56. Isaiah 55, verse 6. And the King James Version reads Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. May the Lord add a blessing in his hearing of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I will Praise read our Lord. announcements for today. Praise the name of Jesus. We bring you greetings from Lighthouse Epistolic Faith Church, where Elder Levi Adams Sr. is the pastor. You are currently tuned into our live virtual Sunday afternoon worship service. Before we go any further, we ask that you take two seconds to share this live service right now with everyone in your context. Let everyone know that Lighthouse is on the air. On behalf of our pastor and First Lady Tina Adams and the entire Lighthouse Epistolic Faith Church, we would like to say thank you for making Lighthouse Virtue Service your place of worship this Sunday afternoon. Please feel free in taking part in our freedom to worship God with our whole heart. We pray that something will be said or done to make your praise and worship an experience you will never forget. If there is anything we can do to help you in your walk with Christ, please feel free to call us at 773-488-5696. Again, that number is 773-488-5696. Or you can email us at lhepicstolic at aol.com. Again, that email is lhepicstolic aol.com. We will be happy to write down your concerns. Take questions about the Bible and prayer requests so that we will know how to pray one for another. If you would like to mail in your concerns, questions, or prayer requests, 
We are located in the Chatham community at 7759 South Everhart Avenue, Chicago, Illinois, 60619. It is now offering time. If you want to donate or support our ministry, you can do so now through our electronic giving. You can give on our website at lhfxolic.com. Again, that is lhfxolic.com or a cash app, dollar sign Lighthouse AFC Chicago. Again, the cash app is dollar sign Lighthouse AFC Chicago. We would, want, we would like to welcome you to be a part of our scheduled weekly virtual services. You can follow us on YouTube and you can find us on Facebook at Lighthouse AFC Chicago. Again, you can follow us on YouTube and you can find us on Facebook at Lighthouse AFC Chicago. Our YouTube services are posted on the next day. Our weekly services are Sunday School, 9.45 a.m., Sunday Service, 11.30 a.m., Ask Pastor Adams Tuesday Bible Study, 12 noon, and Wednesday Night Bible Study at 7 p.m. Again, those services are Sunday School, 9.45 a.m., Sunday Service, 11.30 a.m., Ask Pastor Adam Tuesday Bible Study, 12 noon, and Wednesday Night Bible Study at 7 p.m. If you have any questions for Tuesday's Ask Pastor Adam's Bible Study, you can email us throughout the week at lhfxstolic at aol.com. Again, you can email us at lhfxstolic aol.com. Or call us Tuesday mornings between the hours of 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. at 773-488-59. I'm sorry, 5696. Again, those hours that you can reach us on Tuesday morning is 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. at 773-488-5696. Your questions will be answered every Tuesday during the 12 noon Bible study. We would like you to be a part of our prayer lines. That is, we would like for you to be a part of our prayer lines. Please dial in on Tuesday mornings for 6 a.m. Community Intercessory Prayer, The Called, where we are interceding for our nation, our leaders, the body of Christ, and families. And you can be, our number is 978-990-5000, and the access code is 872-207. The number for the prayer line again is 978-990-5000. And the access code is 872-207. And you can also tune into that prayer line on Wednesday nights at our worship and release prayer service that begins at 6 p.m. Again, the prayer line number, 978-990-5000. The access code is 872-207. Please join us. We were glad to have you. Our we want to say happy birthday to all our birthdays for the month of October. We have Will Griffin, October 1st, Yolanda Scott, October 6th, Debbie Combs, October 8th, First Lady Adams, that was on the 9th, Chanel Brown, that was on the 13th, Trinity Scott on October 17th, Paul Rucker on the 18th, Pastor Adams on the 21st, Omar Adams Sr. on the 22nd, and today, our very own Evangelist Rosie Johnson on to the 25th. We want to say happy birthday to Evangelist. We love you. And Cordell Tauber, who will be celebrating on the 27th. We would also like to say happy anniversary to Elder and Deaconess Larkin on the 30th that will take place, to uh, Minister and Sister Anderson that took place on the 10th. Let's remember everyone that is on our prayer list. Let's keep them in prayer for the firm and effective prayers of a righteous man avail it much. Now we want to say amen for our pastor as he was come for. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wilson, for those announcements, and we thank God for all of you. We said praise the Lord to our radio audience and our Facebook audience. Once again, it's a blessing to be in the house of the Lord, and we greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, we, we are having virtual church because of the pandemic. Yes, we uh, 
uh, was at one point we was back in our sanctuary in, Jan in July the 5th and began to worship the Lord and having a glorious time in the Lord. But God is a God of wisdom and knowledge. And it was laid upon our heart Sunday night to go back and, and to uh, start having virtuous service uh, because I believe it was God's spirit that spoke to me Sunday night after we had had a great service here Sunday and I was lying in my bed Sunday night and a still small voice said to me to shut down the service and it pondered in my mind and Monday night when our presiding bishop uh, Bishop Lambert Gates we had a prayer meeting for I beloved Bishop Ford and in the closing remarks he made a statement and he said to the pastors God has given you wisdom God has given you leadership God has given you responsibilities in so many words and we are to use wisdom in this time of this pandemic and so that was confirmation for me, what God had already spoken to my heart. And that's why we're going back to virtual church. And we don't know how long we're going to do this. But what I'm here to tell you, God is still on the throne. Amen. And we can still worship God. Uh, we, God has given us wisdom and given us the ability to carry on. And Paul state, as he was in the Roman prison, he says he was locked up, but his spirit was at liberty. And our spirit is still at liberty. We can still worship God at our home. And I say to you, Lighthouse, that are sitting home and watching, God is still God. Yes. And we ask you, we thank God for all of you. We're so gracious. And we uh, uh, thank God for our visitors, those that are first-time listeners. We greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. And we ask you to stay with us and go with us as Moses said to Jephro. We will do you good. Thank you. And may God forever bless you. Amen. Now we're called for our... Oh. Praise the Lord. I have one more announcement. We would like to thank from... Uh, this is from our Pastor A's department. We would like to thank Lighthouse family for your videos and tributes for our pastor and Lady Adams for those that weren't able to put their tributes in, you are still included because you are a part of Lighthouse. Again, we want to thank you for your tributes and your um, videos for our past and first lady. Now we're going to say amen for our praise and worship team. Let's receive them. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Everybody out there in radio land, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, type into those comment lines. Say praise the Lord to one another. We really exalt the name of the Lord on today, Lord. for God is great, and he is greatly to be praised. How many know that God is great, Hallelujah. and he is greatly to be praised? Yes, you still yes. have not shared this yes. service. We ask you to share it now yes. as we go into worship, singing, God is great, yes, and he's he greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. God is great, he's greatly to be praised. Okay, we're going to start this over again. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're going to get this. Amen. God is great. He's greatly to be praised. Glory to his name. God is great. He's greatly to be praised. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, God is great. God is great. He's greatly to be praised. Oh, 
for what he done for me. God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. Why didn't you say that, Adam? Look what he done for me. He brought me out of sin. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Died on Calvary Cross. The just for the unjust. Yeah. What have he done for you? Well, Are you still in sin? Yeah. Are you still practicing sin? Well, then you can't say that. Yeah. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe. That's what he done for me. <laughs> Glory be to God. That's why we got joy. Unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. In the midnight hour. When we're going through the valley, we still say he's great. He's great. Hallelujah. He feed the hungry soul. Hallelujah. Healing bodies. Resurrecting the dead. Breathing life. God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. Thank you, praise team. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, wherever two or three are gathered, Lord have mercy. In my name, God to step down and get in the midst. Hallelujah. I dare you to praise God. Start praising God. I don't, I, 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 let me say this. Whatever your circumstances is, Start praising God. Start giving God his glory. Hallelujah. He's a God that lifted up of the bow down heads. Encourage your heart. That's why we need the Holy Ghost. You, you, can't, you can't do this if, if you have not been born again. Hey, glory be to God. Not to the fullness. You might get happy and run and holler. But sin still have a hold of you. You need to be delivered. Yeah. 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 I used to cry. Got through crying. I went on and did my devilment. But since the Holy Ghost came, <laughs> it gave me power. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I, I, my, I'm not, my heart is just rejoicing today. I, I feel like I, my soul is just bubbling over. Amen. And I, I said to the class earlier, uh, the tribute that went out and the congratulations to the wife and I in 14 years of pastoring in the pastoral field. And I just felt all soggy this morning. It got to me, Sister Mamie. I, I began to cry when I hear what the saints and all those uh, that was related to Lighthouse and all those that made comments concerning uh, the wife and I. And it just caused our hearts to be overwhelmed. And I, I began to shed some tears and got soft because a great people feel that I am concerned about them and they are giving me my flowers while I'm alive. Yeah. I thank God for each and every one of you. I do love you. And those that wasn't able to do it, I know that you feel the same way. Amen. And we just thank God uh, for this uh, group of people that he has allowed us to pastor and, and to be your shepherd for this time, for this time. Amen. We thank God for all the gifts that we receive. And it's just lovely. I wasn't looking for anything, but I thank God for the great love that you showed towards us. And we are grateful. You're great people. You're great people. And to be able to pastor great people, that means something. That means a lot. Amen. And we thank God for this privilege that he 
have uh, given to us. Uh, we were not worthy, but God count us worthy by us repenting of our sin and telling God that we wanted to make a change in our life, and that he did. All right, we're just going to talk just a little bit. I know that some of you might was looking to hear some some preaching and hollering, but uh, there's a time and a place for everything. And I, 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 when the praise was going on, I felt like preaching. <laughs> but I believe God had commissioned me to uh, talk from a few scriptures this morning, this afternoon, and and uh, we we got quite a few scriptures that we want to talk to you about, and. Uh, I ask you a question. I will listen in the audience that are sitting home and and are watching us over YouTube, through YouTube and Facebook Live. Uh, I ask you a question, and my question is, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? And I, I don't know about you, but I, I meet a lot of people. And they said they believe they're believers. And they believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And they believe that Jesus is the Savior of the world. And there are a percentage of people that don't even believe that Jesus exists. But we that say that we are believers, and we believe that Jesus is the Son of God, he came to save us from our sins, then why are we continually sinning? Uh, there's a question, and I, I would, uh, to God, that you would examine yourself and ask yourself that question. If I'm a believer, why aren't there some changes in my lifestyle? Why am I continually to commit sin. And any time we commit sin or continue to commit sin, we are disobeying God's word, God's commandment. And, and if we are disobeying God's commandment, then the Bible tells us, John says that we don't know him. And if we believe in, if we are believers, then we should live that lifestyle that he know us and we know him and by this, we have his spirit. Amen. So I want to just talk. We, we're going to read and just talk to you uh, from the scriptures uh, that we have and hope that these scriptures that we read would be seeds as a farmer would farm uh, agriculture. The seeds would go into the ground and it would germinate and grow. And there was a transformation. There was a, a uh, metamorphosis in the seed that went into the ground. It went in as a seed, but it came up as a plant. And as they said about the, uh, the cocoon, the worm, it uh, went in as a, into this cocoon and came out as a butterfly. So there ought to be some changes in our life, in our lifestyle. If we say that we believe and we've been born again and we know the man and we know Jesus, then Jesus should have affected your life to the point that the things that you used to do, the places you used to go, you don't go there no more. You don't Things you used to do, you don't do them anymore. Amen. There should be a change in your life. And we're going to have Minister Wilson to read for us St. John, the third chapter. Uh, and the third verse, you will find these words that Jesus was speaking to a well-known uh, Pharisees in the book of St. John during the days that Jesus walked upon the face of this earth. This 
was a religious man. Yeah. You, did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm. He was a religious man. He was one of the religious sect that were, which was the Pharisees. A leader. He was a leader in his community and at the synagogue. And Jesus asked Nicodemus a question. Jesus, uh, Nicodemus asked Jesus a question. And Jesus responded by asking him a question. Verse 3 says what? Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, Cannot see the kingdom of God. Could you read that? St. John 3 and 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Read on. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. Jesus, Nicodemus, meet with the rabbi. Nicodemus, meet. A sinner meet with the righteous. Nicodemus was puzzled in his mind. Jesus was in his ministry going strong. And, and uh, Nicodemus heard, and I'm quite sure he uh, visited some of Jesus' uh, revivals. And he went to Jesus by night and questioned him concerning uh, his ministry. Now, Nicodemus was not ignorant uh, by asking Jesus these questions because he stated in so many words that uh, Jesus' name was like a household name round in Jerusalem. He said that we know that you came from God. We know that uh, about the way you conduct your life, by the way you live, by the way you treat people, having compassion, by the way you're there to meet the needs of the people. We we know that, but 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 uh, I have a question. I have a question. How can I get to heaven? How can I, if you allow me to paraphrase a little bit, how can I get in the place with God like you are? How can I have that connection? How? Jesus answered, truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he can't see the kingdom of God. Except you be born again. Yeah. This is not talking about a natural birth as you coming from your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. He's talking about a spiritual transformation. That's what he's speaking about. Nicodemus, you, you, you need a, 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 the spirit of God in you. Right now you operating off of the spirit of Nicodemus. You operating under the spirit of a human being. But you, you need to be born again. You need to be go through a regeneration period. And, 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 and he goes on to say, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can't enter into his, his second time into his mother's womb. I can't go back there and be born. Ah, uh, 
Father, time, God, nature, don't allow that to be. How can I go help me to understand? Somebody need to understand today. You think you're on your way to heaven. You're in a same right way. You're in a same right way. Nicodemus was one of those that in a same right way. And the writer said there is a way that seemed right unto mankind. But the end of all is death. I ask you the question, have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, you go to church, you sing in the choir, well, some even preaching over the, the pulpit. Yeah. But I want to know, have you been born again? Yeah. Have you received the Holy Ghost? Well. Jesus said to Nicodemus, truly, truly, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. You got to go down in water, Nicodemus. Yeah. Get loud mean to just paraphrase a little bit. Nicodemus, do you remember when John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness? Yeah. He was baptizing in the river Jordan. All Israel, all Jerusalem, all this, uh, uh, Je uh, uh, Jerusalem went out. To sin. What was he doing? He was baptizing. <laughs> he was baptizing unto repentance. You gotta, you gotta go down in water. You gotta be born of the water. And born of the spirit. You gotta have a different spirit than what you got, Nicodemus. You're operating off of Nicodemus spirit. Although you mean good, but good is not good enough to get you into heaven. God has invested too much. Hallelujah. God has invested too much for us to bring him an invitation, an invita a inv imitation of his spirit. <laughs> an invitation it, it, uh, and please forgive me. I'm having a problem getting my tongue to say this word. That imitation mm -hmm. is not going to do it. Amen. The Holy Ghost cannot be imitated. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. It cannot be duplicated. Hallelujah. It has to come down yeah. from God. He cannot enter. You can't make it there, Doc. You cannot make it into the kingdom of God. He says to Nicodemus, you need to be born again. You need a, to be transformed. I believe Paul said in the book of Romans, the Spirit is speaking to me, so let's go to Romans. I believe that's Romans 10. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hearing God talk to my mind as I'm speaking. Uh, 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 oh, chapter 12, Romans 12. Romans 12, Paul is speaking to uh, the Jewish brethren. Romans 12 and 1. I beseech you, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. You got to be what? To present your body yes. a living sacrifice. And it's got to be holy. Yes. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Yes. If you have not received the Holy Ghost, I'm, I'm here to tell you, you're still in sin. You have not been washed. You have not been filled with the Holy Ghost. So therefore, 
Paul says to his brethren of that day, except your body is holy, you can forget about it. He said, you have to present your body a living sacrifice, holy. That's the only thing God going to accept because God is holy. Yes. Yes. God said in the book of Leviticus, he said, this will be ye holy. I'm holy. He goes on. Hey, you're not doing anything to boast about. This is your reasonable service. Amen. <laughs> That's the reasonable thing to do. Hallelujah. If you want to get to heaven, Hallelujah. that's the reasonable thing. You're not doing no big favor to God. Hallelujah. You're helping yourself. You, you, you making yourself better. That's right. That's right. My Lord. Hallelujah. He says here, verse 2 says what? And be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Be not conformed to this world. Stop practicing sin, because this world is full of sin. That's what this world is about, sinning. And if you practice in sin, and you have been born again, <laughs> You are confirming to this world. Well, you haven't pledged yes. in what the world is doing. Yes. But Paul said, you need to be transformed. You need to be born again. Yes. Yes. You need to have a new mindset. Yes. Hallelujah. Holiness will cause you to have a new mindset. That's right. Be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing. You need a new mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank <laughs> well. you. you need the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. And the only way you can have the mind of Christ, you got to have the Holy Ghost, yeah. which is the Spirit of the Living God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Prove yes, sir. what is good. Yes, what you say? Not only will I talk holiness, my lifestyle. That's right. That's it. That's it. My lifestyle proves yeah, what my mouth is saying. Yeah. My lifestyle is standing behind yeah. it, supporting it. Yeah. Prove it. Yeah. What is good and acceptable in the perfect will of God. This is God's will. God sent forth his son into the world. Hallelujah. To die for the sin of the word that we no longer will be participating in sin. Yeah. Give me Romans 6. Chapter Romans. And the 6th verse. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. Knowing what? That our old man is crucified with him. It, 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 that old man, Nicodemus, that old man that you were born with, is he still alive? Is, is he still doing what he's doing when he was born with him? Is he still living? Something wrong. I asked the question. Have you been born again since you believe? Knowing this, that that old man yes. is dead. Yes. That old Adam that used to wanna wanna that used to shoot dice the whole weekend, play five card studs the whole weekend, that would lie at the drop of a hat, that was steal. Whatever my flesh told me to do, I would do it. That's right. That's right. Oh, that was some thing that I, I said I wouldn't do. You know, all of us got a little integrity about ourselves. <laughs> Certain things some of us just wouldn't do. But there was so much out there. <laughs> 
So much other out there will make up for that you didn't do with more. I, I, I used to say, I wouldn't be a wine head. Look down my nose at wine head. And had a problem gambling. I was just bad. I was worse off than him. At least he was drinking his money up. I was gambling mine away. He had sent up. He drunk here. <laughs> But see how the devil will fool you. That's why you need the Holy Ghost. That's why you need to be born again. That old man, is he still operating? That old man still controlling you. He needs to be crucified. You got to kill him out. Yeah. And you don't have the power to do that if you have not the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. You don't have the power. That's right. <laughs> you need some, some dynamite. You need some yeah. dynamite. Yes, you need that power that come down from heaven. Yes. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory be to God. Yes, that mind-changing power. He said, knowing this, that the old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed. Is sin, is sin still living in you? Is sin, now, is sin, let me put it this way. Is sin still controlling? Now, I want to stay with the Bible. I want to keep, I got to stay within the scriptures. Can't get outside the scriptures. Because sin is in this old mortal body. Yeah. It's there. That's right. But you got to keep it dominant. Yeah. And the only thing you keep that fella in check is the Holy Ghost. Right. This flesh is like a bulldog. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to put a chain on it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it only can go so far. Yeah. You got to put a chain on it. Bible tell us that you guard your heart with all diligence. Yeah. See, it's that, but you got to keep it under control. And the Holy Ghost will do that. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Well, yeah. Glory, my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, my Lord. Said that the body of sin might be destroyed. As henceforth we should not serve sin. Lord have mercy. Yes, sir. You need the Holy Ghost. Yes. You need the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. You need to be born again. Yes. You need to be confirmed. Oh, yes. You need a transformation. Yes. Oh, yes. Verse 7 says what? For he that is dead is free from sin. What? For he that is dead is freed from sin. You don't crush this old flesh to the point that it, it, it won't rise up. Yes, hallelujah. In the Holy Ghost, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Stop it back down. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost. Come to God. And the writer said, after that, you receive the Holy Ghost, you should have power. Yes. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Yes. Do you have the power? Yes. If you don't have it, you can forget about seeing the kingdom of God. Yes. Jesus said that. I didn't say it. Yes. Time for us to get it right. Time for us to get it right. Yes, sir. It's good to shout and run and, and, and do all those things uh, with a form of religion, but we got to live holy. Verse 8. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. 
But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Lord have mercy. Look at the look at look at the promises. Yeah. Look at this contract that God has given to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 this contract here. It says, Adam, this is what Paul is saying. Now, you believe, yeah. and you receive the Holy Ghost, and you live right. He said, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, yeah. died no more. Yeah. Death has no more dominion over him. Amen. Death don't have no dominion over us. Right. It don't have no dominion over us. Yeah. Because once we lay down and go to sleep, we're going to get up again. Yes, sir. We're going to get up. Yes, we are. Hallelujah. But if you don't have that Holy Ghost, you're you going to get up. But you're going to get up for a bad end. Jesus said it's going to come a day when everyone in the grave is going to hear his voice. That's right. They're going to rise up. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Some for eternal life. Mm -hmm. Some for eternal damnation. Yeah. Yeah. How you going to rise? Oh, Would you rise by the power oh. of the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. Or you rise because yeah. Jesus called you for judgment? Yeah. Yeah. Verse 11 says what? Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. That's what the Holy Ghost will do. Yes, sir. That's what that, that that's why we need to be born again. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord. We won't use our bodies as instruments for the devil. Well, we'll use our bodies for the instrument to praise our God. Yes. 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 To live holy, to walk holy, to speak. Holy to, 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 to set an example for the world. Yes. People's talking about you can't live holy. And you say that you tell me you've been born again, you believe believer? And you tell me you can't live holy? Jesus said it. Paul said it. And Jesus called Paul and he taught Paul and Paul is telling us that you can do this. That's right. yes, sir. Ephesians 2 and 5. Let me go here. Uh, uh, my time is, is moving on. Ephesians 2 and 5. Let's see here. Let me get there. Uh, Ephesians. I might want to start at the Uh, let's start at the first verse. We, we'll take our time. Start at the first verse, darling. Ephesians 2 and 1. Yes. And you had he quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. If you believe, if you believe and you receive the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. Paul says you've been made alive. This word quicken means made alive. You're not operating under your dead flesh. And ye, and you, has he quickened, who were dead in trespassing and sin. Mm -hmm. You've been quickened now. Mm -hmm. You've been, you, 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 
been given some power yes. because of the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. He said, read on. Where in time past you walked accordingly to the course of this world, mm. according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Ooh, operating under that Adamite flesh. Children of disobedience. Adam, how did we get that? Adam was the first man that disobeyed God. Are you walking after Adam? Are you walking after your flesh? Or are you walking after the spirit of God? Which one are you walking after? Have you been quickened? Have you been made alive? Have you been changed? Have you went through that uh, state of transform? Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you been there? He said, other words, Paul is talking to this Ephesian church. He said, you used to. You used to. <laughs> you used to. That was time when you, you couldn't help yourself. You wanted to do what was right and couldn't. That's Your flesh right. wouldn't allow you. That's right. Hallelujah. But he said, now you've been quickened. Oh, yes, yes. Now you've been made alive. Yes. Now you have the Holy Ghost. Yes. Now you've been filled yes. with the richness of God's love. Yes. You used to walk that way. You don't walk that way anymore. That's right. oh. Lord, have mercy. Yes, Lord. You walked according to the, the world, yes. according to the prince and the power of the air, which is Satan, the devil. That's right. He's the principalities, all power. Yes. Darkness. Lord. Uh, you were trying to wrestle against Satan himself. You can't win wrestling against Satan of your own. That's mm. right. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. You're a good man, Nicodemus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. You do a lot to help the people. That's right. You're a good person. That's right. But good enough ain't good enough. That's right. Good ain't good enough. That's right. Walked according to the power there. The spirit that now worketh in the children of the old folks say hardhead, <laughs> rebellious, disobedient. Yes. Verse 3 says what? Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh. Ooh. Go ahead. Fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Have you? Been born again. Mm -hmm. Have you changed your lifestyle? Well, do sin control in your moral body? Well, or have you? Do you have power over it? Well, and whereby he said that he says. Uh, Mm -hmm. uh, you walk among who also we also had our lifestyle in time past mm -hmm. in the lust of our flesh. Mm -hmm. Our flesh was dictating to us what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. It, your flesh will dictate to you. Mm -hmm. Sure will. And if you have no power, you can, you can have all the uh, 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 what, what I'm going to say uh, that, that little pride is about the child I wouldn't do that mm -hmm. I wouldn't stoop that low mm -hmm. shoot mm -hmm. seeing them make you stoop so low you can't even look up seeing I have you so low you need some power thank you, yeah. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. you, you, need, you need some oh. power 
power that changes oh, yes. the hearts of men. Yes. Yes, he said, in time past, in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling desire of our flesh, whatever our flesh, our heart desire, right. we went after it. That's right. And of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath. God was angry with them. Yes, sir. <laughs> God, the Bible says God is angry with the wicked every day. That's right. Every day, but yet His compassion yes. faileth not. Yes. He's angry, and at that same time. He got a stretched out hand to you. Yeah. Saying, come unto me, all you that are laboring oh, heavenly. Yeah. Now, see your struggle. Yeah. I know you want to get out of Hallelujah. what you're doing, but you have no power. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's why he looked at, at Jerusalem at that feast, and he looked at all them people. He said, any man thirst. I know you're thirsty. Well, I know you're tired. I know you're weary. Yeah. I know you're worn. Come unto me. Yes. Have yes. your life. Give. I'm your source yes. of life. Hallelujah. Verse 4 says what? But God who is rich in mercy. Yes. For his great love wherewith he loved us. Look for here. Daddy! Yes. Sinful! Glory to God. Some of us. Sin had us so we were ashamed of ourselves. I know that's right. We were ashamed of ourselves. We were doing some stuff. We were ashamed of ourselves. But God was rich in love. God was rich in love. Nicodemus, I know you mean well. I know that you have a desire to do what is right. But you need to be born again. God so loved the world. He was rich in mercy. Hallelujah. For his great love, wherein, where we are, he loved me. Yes. Thank you, Lord. He loved me. Thank you. I believe my mama Catherine Adam loved me. Hallelujah. I believe she did everything she thought was necessary to help me. Yes. But it wasn't good enough. Hallelujah. It was God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. He loved me so. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That he sent forth his son yes. from the portals of glory. Yes. Came down and dwelled among yes. sinful people, a sinful nation, yes. took on our sin, nailed him to the cross, Hallelujah. died for our sin. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, his son. Die. Yes. God so loved. Yes. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Lord. Have you received the Holy Ghost Hallelujah. since you believe? Verse 5 says what? Hallelujah. Even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Christ. By grace, ye are saved. You got to come through Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. If you're trying to go any other way, it's just a fuel fight. Yes. You're wasting your time. Yes. You got to come to Christ. You got to come to the cross. Yes. You want deliverance? Yes. You got to get at the foot of the cross. Hallelujah. If you want healing, it come from the cross. Yeah. If you want deliverance from sin, yeah. he can deliver you. Yeah. It is by Jesus Christ. Yes, by grace you're saved. Thank you. you didn't do it. That's right. You couldn't do it. That's right. And the Bible tell us 
uh, that it was God, the Spirit, in Christ Jesus, yes. reconciling the world back to him. Yes. That love was coming. That yes. love was at work. Yes. Bringing us back to Christ. Yes. Verse 6. And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come he might show the exceedingly riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Jesus Christ. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. So then, saints, you can't work your way into heaven. That's right. That's right. You can't pay your way into heaven. Amen. This thing, you got to go to the cross. That's right. Hallelujah. It is through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Paul said in the, in the 13th Hallelujah. chapter of 1 Corinthians, he said, what if I get my body to be burned? Mm. Well, that ought to get me in. No. Ah, what if I give all Jesus. my riches? Yeah. That ought to get me in. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh-uh. That ain't going to get you there. Hallelujah. You, that ain't going to get you there. Thank you, Jesus. Well, I, I, I got a beautiful seat. You know, I'm, I do Hallelujah. good. Well, that ought to say something. Hallelujah. God, go look and uh, y'all read. Let me, just excuse me for a minute. When you get there at St. Peter Gate, St. Peter's going to be looking for Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. He ain't going to be looking at your looks and your works. Yeah, glory. He, he's looking for Jesus. Yeah. Can I see the blood? Can I see yeah. my, 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 my master's son in you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you been born again since yeah. you believed? Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Verse 9, we're going to close out on this. Now, verse 10, read. Verse 9, not of works, lest any man should boast, for we are his workmanship. Created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God had before ordained that we should walk there, walk in them. God, from the foundation of the world, yes. there was a lamb slain. Mm, my God, yeah, Lord. And he was slain for the sins of the world. Yes. So that we don't have to continue in sin. That's right. We don't have to continue practicing sin. That's I'm talking about the folks that go around here sinning. Yeah. I'm not talking about somebody that error. Yeah. If you've been born again and you've been spoken tongue and been filled with the Holy Ghost and was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin mm -hmm. and you live that holy life, that's what God is looking for. And if you happen to stumble and make a mistake, my Bible tells me sometimes a righteous calling God will Man. pick him up. All Man. God wants him to do is confess it Man. and forsake it and Man. stop doing it. That's right. Because as you go up that ladder, walk with God, you're constantly getting to know God. Mm -hmm. And the more you get close to know God, the more stuff you're going to lay aside. Mm -hmm. And by the time you get there, I say you'd be like on cloud nine. Oh, yeah. You have control of all that stuff that was in your flesh. Mm -hmm. It's in our flesh. That's right. If you don't think it's there, go to Galatians 5th chapter and read it. Mm -hmm. It's there. Yes, sir. Let me let, let me get, get ready to close out here. Colossians 3 and 7, 3 and 1. Colossians 3 and 1. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Seek those things, heavenly things, Lord. not worldly things, That's right. That's right. not sinful things. My Lord, help us to... If you be risen, if you've been born again, yes. if you got a new mindset, yes. if the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost is, is in you, you're seeking things above. Verse 2 says, Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. So why are you still sinning? If you're dead to sin, and your life 
is he in Christ. If you're in Christ, you can't be practicing sin. Because Paul says, the same Paul, say whenever you sin, you sin without the body. You're outside of the body of Christ. So long as you're in the body, then you know Christ is satisfied with you. Because if you're sinning, that puts you out. So Paul says, you set your affection on things above. On things, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead. If you're in Christ, mm -hmm. sin is not controlling this body anymore. Mm -hmm. And your life is hid with Christ in God. Verse 4. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Lord, Lord look at him. If, you, if this Holy Ghost is operating in you, yes. and you let this Holy Ghost control you, hallelujah, one day, because mm -hmm. he's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> he's coming back. Yes, Lord. And he's coming back after his bride, yeah. which is the church, yes. which is the one that's been baptized in Jesus' name, My filled God. with the Holy Ghost, walking a holy and a sanctified life, Separated from sin, yes, not practicing sin, yes, not living in sin. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's coming back. Yes. He's the chief yes. high priest. Hallelujah. He's the chief shepherd. Yes. Hallelujah. He's the chief inspector. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he, when he come, well, fact about it, we're all being inspected right now. That's right. <laughs> We all are being inspected right now. The life that we're living, we're being inspected. An inspection is going on in our life right now. Hallelujah. He's coming. Read on, daughter. Verse 5. He says here, wait, that verse 4 says, what again? When Christ, who is our life, shall appear. Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Uh -huh. Mortify, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil perspicuance, and covetousness, which is adultery, for which things sake the wrath of God come on the children of disobedient, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them. But now ye also put off all these, anger, yeah. wrath, malice, Blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off, the, put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Amen, amen, amen. I'm closing, I'm closing, I'm closing. Let's go to uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and 14. I'm closing. 2 Corinthians 5 and 14. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. And that he died for all, that they which is live should not henceforth live unto themselves. We shouldn't live unto ourselves if we've been born again. Yeah. What are you saying? We shouldn't keep practicing sin. Mm -hmm. If the Spirit of God, we've been born again, we should be continuously practicing sin. Read on. But unto him which died for them and rose again. Uh-huh. Wherefore henceforth know we no man after the flesh, yea, Though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we him no more. Amen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Something will happen in your life, and you will know it yeah. if you receive the Holy Ghost since you believe. Yeah. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Have there been a change? Yes. Wow. Are you a new creature in Christ now? Yes. Are you that same
old worm that's crawling around and had not went through that transformation and still professing to be a child of God. Still saying that you are in the church of Jesus Christ. Acts 19 and 1 and then that, that's going to close us out. Acts 19 and 1. Yes. And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Holy right there. Just holy right there. Nicodemus. Every Sabbath day you was at the synagogue. Nicodemus was there. When the church doors open, he was there. Mm -hmm. We got some Nicodemus in our day and time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They are at the church. They there. Mm -hmm. They there. They 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 uh, 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 have that form. Mm -hmm. They trying to please God. They some have the desire to please God. Mm -hmm. Apostle Paul was on his mission journey. And he was up the upper course of Ephesus. And on his journey, journey he found some religious folks. Mm -hmm. He found some church-going people. Mm -hmm. And they was having some type of devotion, spiritual devotion. Mm -hmm. And it got Paul's attention. And I'm quite sure Paul began to gaze in and listen. Mm -hmm. And watching him going through the ritual. Of religion. Oh, hallelujah. They had a form. Oh, my Lord. And, and Paul was looking at them. Mm -hmm. And he was prompt to ask the question. Well. They look like church folk. Mm -hmm. They act like church folk. Mm -hmm. They doing what church folk do. Mm -hmm. Paul says, have you received the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. since you believe? Somebody is listening to us today. Mm -hmm. You doing what these 12 men, disciples, were doing. They was disciples. It is said that they, these are disciples that had been to Jerusalem. And when John the Baptist was preaching in the wilderness and baptized and saying, repent and believe on him who to come, they got baptized, but they left and went back up in the hills of Ephesus. Mm -hmm. Look here, if you're serious about seeking God, yes. God's going to find you. That's right. Yes, yes sir. God's going to send away. Yes. God will go into the jungles of Africa and find you. Hallelujah. Right. You're the dean, the Holy Ghost, from find you if you seek it after God. Yes. 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 yes, yes. Paul came along and saw these brethren. Hallelujah. And he asked them, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Read on. And they said unto him, we have not so much as heard whether there be any, any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people, that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. They was what? Baptized. Are you listening, audience? You sitting at home. You that 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 are seeking Christ like Nicodemus was seeking. Well, you you have a desire to do what is right. God sent his word today. Hear ye the word of the Lord. God sent his word. God heard you. God know your heart. God know that you want to do what's right. God understand that you are sick and tired of that lifestyle that you live in. Well, you want to change. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Scripture says these men when they heard this 
they was baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes. Not in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, those are titles. That's right. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Verse 6. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. Hallelujah. And all the men were about twelve. See, God knows where you at. God will find you if you seek after him. He's rich in mercy. He's rich in love. And he wants to love you. He wants to love you. His hand is stretched out saying, come unto me. All ye that are labor, laboring and are heavy laden, I got rest for you. I got rest for you. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? God bless you. You can reach us. If this word, if this seed fell upon you and you serious about your saying plan of salvation, you can call us at 773-488-5696. We will take your call. And we will come down here at the church building. And we will baptize you in the name of the Lord Jesus. And we will work with you until God fill you with the Holy Ghost. Just as Jesus told Nicodemus, ye must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Otherwise, you can't even see the kingdom. You can forget about going to heaven. I didn't say that, my friend, my sisters and brothers. It was God's word. You can read it in your Bible. We're living in a day and time when men don't have the answer. Only God has the answer. Only God can comfort those that need comforting. And you can do that by omitting to God and submitting yourself to God and believe his word. You might not understand it. Many of us didn't understand it. I didn't understand it when I first started studying it. But as I walk with God, and was filled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost helped me. I sit on the sound teaching men that live what they teach. Sit there and receive this word. And God, through revelation, helped me to understand many of the scriptures. He'll do the same thing for you. Just have a willing mind. Have a desire. For him to do that. Let him take over your life. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We bless you. Until next time. May God continue to bless you. Smile upon you. And keep you in Jesus name.